Right, so on the throwing demo, I show you using three different size of uh, round rib, machine tool round rib to make nice perfect curve on the inside. And today I would like to uh, trim this piece and also show you my other uh, invention so that you can take care of this part here later on after you trim. Normally uh, when you have a clay here to hold it, there's no way you can trim all the way down unless you are using water to stick your piece on. Otherwise, uh, it's very hard to trim here with the uh, holding clay on here. So you have to flip over and recenter it again. But I have a device that uh, I could uh, take care of it. So after I finish, I will show you how to do that. Right, first I will center. And for tap centering, I have uh, several videos show you how to practice on it. And this is a very good uh, technique to have. If you are serious about uh, doing pottery, I recommend you to, to learn the uh, tap centering. And again, I'm using my new tool, the carbine look tool to do the trimming. And this tool lasts longer holding the edge, the sharp edge much longer because this is a very hard material. And like I told you that uh, if you want to avoid the uh, chattering, unwanted chattering, stabilize the head, the trim head. So you can see that I always hold my finger closer to the head and then I extend my thumb to stabilize it. The thumb, my left thumb is stabilizing the head of the tool. Right, so after remove most of the clay, I want to take care of this part here. Well, I'm changing to my square shape. This is a shape like a pear, a pear shape. And this is a shape like a square. So I call it a pear shape and square shape. So you could hold this way, but the very final stage, you usually hold it up a bit so you get a better corner. So I'm holding like a pencil for getting this corner better. Okay. But beginning, you could hold it like that. But then uh, you want to get this corner more like 90 degrees, then you hold your tool up a little bit like that. Okay. So you see that when I hold up uh, this corner, the corner of this, uh, Foot here, if you hold more like 90 degrees, you get this part a little bit better instead of getting too much of the slope. And you see now is the perfect timing for trimming my part because you see that when I'm trimming. It is not stick on here that the clay is not stick on to the tool so that's the right stage to trim right timing okay i think this sounds right okay. sounds like a drum so i will just leave it here and maybe do a very final Refining that the corner. So after I get this part, this corner down right, then I will compare this part here, the outer part, a little bit lower, slightly lower, because the inside of the ball has a curve. So 
the outer part could be a little bit lower. Right, so the very final moment, I usually speed up my wheel so I will get a better, nicer, uh, smooth surface. Right, so after I take care of this part here, then uh, I uh, will remove the holding clay, the holding coil on the side, on the corner. And I want to trim all the way down here. But uh, if you want to trim all the way, connect all the lines smoothly, you have to flip over and then trim again. So that is a little bit uh, troublesome. So I have uh, the disc. This is the uh, made of uh, plastic glass. Uh, also, this is one of my invention too. So you drop it on here and uh, find your uh, center easily because there are lots of uh, small circles here. Um, you could find your center easily. So it's the center. And then this is the uh, spinner. It's made of uh, aluminum and they they come with two parts. One part, okay, you can spin freely because there is a bearing inside. Okay, so when you have this part here, this hold, this is the aluminum bearing spinner. You can just put it on here on top of that. There's a little groove here. So there's a little groove. So when you put this in, it's a skewer inside. It's not moving because my design, there is a groove there. So that is just fitting, this piece is just fitting inside perfectly. And you just hold it down. See that when you trim, you hold it down. So there's down pressure. When you are uh, trying to uh, trim this part here, you, your ball, your part is not going away. Okay, so that's my um, invention, my design for this. And also there are a few uh, lines that you could uh, make a divider so that if you want to divide the circle into like three equal parts, four equal parts, or eight equal parts, you could use this one, okay, the disc. But some people say that this, this one, if they are making a smaller one, the disc is a little, little bit too big. So uh, when you ask and I listen, so now I have a smaller one here. Okay, so this disc, it's a smaller, it's two and three quarter inches. Okay. About seven, seven centimeter. Okay. Seven, seven zero millimeter. Okay. Seven centimeter from scratching. So if you, uh, you have in this one, the, the new one, if you want to remove it, it's very hard to remove because, uh, the, the, the pieces cut it into smaller pieces. So, Sometimes you have to remove it individually, one by one, okay? But uh, there's a way to uh, remove it easily. You can use a damp sponge and wet it. So once the paper is wet, it's easy to come off. Or you can use a, uh, a tape, okay? This is the tape, and you can just tape it on. Tape it and then you peel it. So you can remove the paper that is sticking on to the uh, surface. Okay, just use uh, the sticky tape that you could uh, pick it up, pick up your paper easily. Right, see that? Now the surface will be uh, much cleaner, so you will be able to see it. 
I see it. And there's a little groove there. So just again, it's the same design there. So you just drop it here. And this will be smaller. So you have, uh, you don't, you tool, if you want to throw it away here, you tool doesn't bump it. Okay. So this is the new one. And of course, finding your center. Just check it. Right, and drop it here. All right, so now let me remove the holding clay in the corner. Take my tool, hold it down, and you could cut it. to punish a little bit. Okay, so the whole curve follow through all the way to the rim. Okay, so that's the disc. And uh, also in case you need to do like divider, this is also very good for dividing the pieces into three equal parts, four equal parts, or equal parts, eight equal parts. Okay. So this is a smaller one and a larger one. Okay, so that ball is nice and smooth on the uh, inner curve. And the, the curve follow through all the way. So let's uh, let's cut it and then see how the inside curve look like. So I told you that I was using that uh, the round rib to throw this ball. Okay, so that's how it look like inside. The curve on the inside is very smooth. After using the, the round rib to compress it, this part here is very smooth. Um, this part here, I usually leave about three millimeters on the bottom. Okay, hope this demonstration helped and uh, see you next time.